We've got a superstar with us this morning. Grant Roberts is in with us this morning. Yeah, <laughs> looking around, were you? He's right here. And of course, we all heard his name on Oscar night because Hillary Swank thanked you because you were her trainer for Million Dollar Baby. Thank you for coming in this oh, morning. Oh, you're very welcome. Now, we wanted to really show that clip of her thanking Grant, but we are not allowed to because the Oscar said no more broadcast is their property, so we couldn't show it. But how did you feel when she thanked you like that? Oh, it's great. It was, uh, you know, it's a thrill because just to be a part of the project was amazing. Well, I mean, but did you expect her to say your name in front of billions of people? You know, I kind of did, just because we've developed a great relationship out of it all. And she mentioned it when she won the SAG Award, and she mentioned it when she won the Golden Globe. So mm -hmm. I, I thought it was uh, potential when she won the Oscar. So here she is. Of course, she's in top form at this point. She's filming. But how did it ever come to be? How did you get this gig? Um, well, she had a trainer prior to me coming on board, and it just wasn't working out. And uh, Clint actually gave me a call and uh, asked me to sort of come to the rescue. Well, how did he know to call you? Um, everybody knows to call me. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a good answer. But really, how did he, how did he get your name? Um, he was actually uh, told to call me by a, a close friend of his, Mike Hamill. You are just not going to divulge. How did you? How did Mike Hamill know, know you? Like, how, how do they happened. know who you are? You living in Calgary, and you know, yeah. did he know you from Forgive Unforgiven, or like from the area? No, I'd met him a few years ago, and had been out to his ranch and his home, and you know, he loves equipment and loves the whole industry, and that was it. So, what was Hillary Swank like to work with? Oh, she was fantastic. She was. She worked so hard. You have no idea what she put herself through to get the role. Um, you know, you have to appreciate that she's never really boxed before. She's never really, you know, trained intensively before, and uh, probably learning lines for the biggest movie of her life. And she put it all together in, in a nine-week period. It's amazing. Well, that's just it. You had nine weeks to train her to get her into that shape. Did she have all those muscles in her back and everything before when you first started with no, her? No, no. She was five seven and a half, 110 pounds. <gasps> so. And so what did you do to get all that muscle on her? Fed her, mostly. Got her, got her some nutrition. That was the biggest aspect that was missing in her thing. When I first sat down with her, I went over all that she was doing, and she had a trainer doing her boxing. Uh, Hector Roca out of New York did a fantastic job with her. But her nutrition and her weight training really wasn't working out. She was undernourished and wasn't doing the right regimen for weight. So we revamped everything, and um, it was a you know, change daily as we progressed just because we had so little time. But it was incredibly aggressive. Okay, incredibly aggressive meaning what? Like, take me through one of Hillary Swank days. Um, well, she would wake up, go to the boxing club first, so that she would spend about two hours there, and that's where she did most of her cardio conditioning and learning the skills of boxing. Uh, after that, we'd get some nutrition in her and then take a little bit of a break, and we'd probably eat a game before we went uh, to the gym. But right before we went to the gym, we'd have a coffee. Um, that has a thermogenic effect, which, you know, brings her body temperature up, helps her absorb oxygen better. Um, and we pushed her through a workout. The workouts were pretty short, but they were incredibly intense. Hmm. We pushed her beyond what she was capable of doing. So, for example, if she was doing um, leg extensions, she would, you know, do eight on her own, and I would assist her to do six more where she couldn't, immediately drop the weight, and she would do the same process again. As many as she could do on her own, I'd help her finish six more, drop the weight one more time, and the same process. And that was just one set. So oh my it, was, gosh. it was tough. So what happened with the eating? Like, what did, I heard that you had to actually wake her up in the middle of the night. Not personally, unfortunately, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do you get that gig, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. I think Chad's got that one. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But what would she eat in the middle of the night? Uh, protein shake. Your body does all its repairing in the middle of the night, and protein is the most important element to do that. Like once or twice or? Um, really, she was drinking so much water, we was trying to hydrate her as much as possible. That it was just natural she'd be getting up. So I told her, just leave a shake in the, in the washroom, and uh, when you wake up, drink it. So once a night she'd have the protein yeah, shake as right. well. So how much weight did she put on? Reality, she put on about 23 pounds of muscle, but on the scale she put on about 20 pounds. Uh, the reason I say that is her body fat actually went down as she uh, gained muscle mass. So on the scale, 20 pounds, but about 23 pounds of muscle. Now, I heard a rumor that she had, uh, she, her foot was hurt through the whole filming. Uh, not through true? the whole filming. She did get an infection, and it, it, it set us back a little bit. We worked around it, and I carried her to the gym one day. So, um, oh, that's, really? Yeah, she, well, she knew how little time we had, and we couldn't lose a day. Um, but she worked through it. So she, she was working on that foot with an infection when you had to carry her? Well, that was the great thing about you know, weight training. You can isolate different areas and get away from the injured area, so we focused on other areas. Oh, okay, but she didn't want to stop the filming. Not at all. No. Well, we couldn't, and it was a very short film. I think they shot the whole thing in 37 days. Okay, so I am leaving for South Beach in one month. What can I do in a month? We'd have to sit down, but um, 
there's, there's lots you can do, but, but the biggest thing that women don't realize is that weights are so important to creating shape in, in, in the sense. So do you have to do heavy weights? Not at all, no, of course not, but nutrition plays just as important a role. It's a combination. You need rest, you need uh, resistance training, and you need nutrition. I need nutrition. Okay, so your phone must be ringing off the hook with different offers. So what have you got coming up next? Lots. Um, lots of things coming up. Nothing I've committed to yet. So it's going to be an interesting time. I'll have to tell you about it when I know. Well, come on. Give us some of the, like, do, do you have other movie stars calling you yeah, or what? Yeah, I've uh, got a few leads on some pretty big names. And um, they're coming to Calgary? Do they want you to go there? I'll go there. You'll go there. I could talk to them, but yeah, no, I think I'm going there. You're going to go there, okay. And what about like movie roles? Because weren't you in this movie? I was, but you know, I think Clint actually just felt sorry for me because <laughs> I, I tried out for a, a movie before and didn't get the part. Okay. I wanted to be a jockey in Seabiscuit. And, oh, and, yeah. and I don't know why that didn't work yeah. out. So what did you do in this movie? Um, I was the cornerman for the champion, and the champion in this movie is the real-life 140-pound champion of the world, Lucia Riker. So that was also an incredibly tall order. Here, here I am, nine weeks before filming's to begin, and the fight scene was the first thing we filmed, where Clint is saying, yeah, she's 110 pounds, and she's going to fight, you know, the actual 140-pound champion of the world, and you got nine weeks to make it look like it should work. So, oh, tall man. order. Well, good for you. You obviously did a great job. Thank so, you. we'll be hearing a lot about what's going on. Will you come on the show and let us know what's happening when Absolutely. you sign the big deals? Absolutely. Excellent. Okay, we're going to have news, weather, traffic coming up. Right after the break. Oh, by the way, how'd you like the French toast? Beautiful. It was great. It was great. He had some of the French toast from Avenue is Diner. There, more? there is more. <laughs>